All right, how exciting. We are, um, I believe on step four, this is our step four video. So what is our step four? So in step three, let's quickly go back. We work on making sure that the bottom face is complete, that we have bottom face done and we see that upside down T's for all four colors are there, which is perfect. Now that we have this, what we are going to work on is what called working on the edge pieces of the middle row. All that means is that this right here, right here, this piece right here, if you can see my mouse move, hopefully you can, we're working on these pieces one at a time so that ultimately we end up with A here, B here, we'll have another B here, we'll have another here, A here. And if you can imagine, we'll have both the middle and the bottom rows done, right? And the algorithm to remember here is called U, and then you'll find this familiar, R, U, R dot, U dot. And then we switch the face and do L dot, U dot, L, U. So that's one way to do it. We also have an alternate starting position, which basically just reverses the whole thing. U dot, L dot, U dot, L, U. And then we switch the face and do R, U, R dot, U dot. So let me slow this down. All we're doing, adding to the previous algorithm, which once we're done, is that we have U. So if you start with a U, you do R dot, R, U, R dot, U dot and then do L dot U dot L U. If you start with a U dot, then you're just doing L dot U dot L U, R U, R dot U dot. Seems confusing, that's okay. We felt the same way. So, I'm gonna show you. This is what we're trying to get to at the bottom, if you can see. Let's focus on that. Oh, wrong mode. This one right here, right? That's what we're trying to get to. So let's switch to this. Again, our algorithm is U, R, U, R dot, U dot, okay? We're working on any one of these pieces. What I found uh, helpful for us is that because we know these are the edge pieces, right? This is an edge piece. This is a corner, this is an edge. And we want a different edge to come here. We should look for an edge from the top because the bottom is already done. We don't want to mess that up. We need one of these edges to go below. Now we know also that the top is going to be all white. So we don't want any of the white faces to come here and settle down. So this is not a good candidate. Neither is this one or this one, but this is a good one. This is red and green. So if this is red and green, I'll tell you what the starting position is. Because this is red and green, you should face red and green. So we have green and red that we're facing and we have this right here. The way to work this is see what's on top. Top is red. If this is red, make sure that your face is on the right side. If this was green, I would have done it this way. Uh, let me show you this way, right? So green right here. We wanna try to put a green here, but sometimes that's not possible. Green's already here. In fact, we're gonna do this one. So because we want red here, we want red here. That's your starting position. Once you establish your starting position, we are going to follow the algorithm. Let's quickly go back so this makes sense. Let's quickly look at the diagram we had. See what we're trying to do here is we are establishing what colors we want. So if I want B to come here, I want to find that color with AB, which for us is red and green. And I want this B to ultimately move right here. It will, in the meanwhile, move here. That's okay. But we want this B to move here. That starting position is B is right here and we want it here. This is our starting position in this case. For the, some of the other ones, this will make more sense. So let's switch back. See, this is what we call B and we want it right here. So the algorithm for this one is U. And because we're working on red, in the beginning, you should look at green. And if that doesn't make sense, you see, we're actually going to switch the face because you see this was an A face. This is an A face, right? So because we did U, we're going to make this of our R. It'll make more sense when I do it here. So again, this starting position, U, R, U, R dot, 
two dot switch the face let me show you in, in our notes we talk about switching the face right here so we switch the face earlier we were doing it like this now we're doing it like this and we're going to do the rest of the algorithm which is l dot u dot l and u as soon as you're done you'll find that that red and green move from here to here but it does it after you finish the whole thing which is u r u r dot u dot switch the face l dot u dot l u okay we'll do it again so we just finished one let's find another candidate so let's see what's at top okay we have this one not a candidate because it's white this one is not a candidate because it's white but this blue and orange is good so let's move this so we can face the blue and the orange faces and that's what we're looking at this happens to be the same one orange is on top so we're going to do the same thing again this is our starting position we're going to do u face here r u r dot u dot switch the face that's very important l dot u dot l and u voila that makes sense all right so you can stop it if you want for this particular step and go to the next step um, but before you go to the next step make sure you work on all of these for the rest of you who still want to see another run just keep watching me i'm just gonna do another one uh, but the point has already been made here. Um, well, that's an interesting one. All four candidates have white uh, as one of the colors. So that's a problem because it looks like this orange green is stuck here. And then this red and blue is stuck here. I want these to be swapped. So I'm glad that this is the case because I want to show you how to uh, take care of this one. Um, what you need to do in this particular situation is that you just go ahead and do the algorithm anyway, and this will come out. So let me show you what that means. We're working on this, right? So I'm going to say R U. Hold on one second. Sorry, let me go back. So let's do again. U R U R dot u dot switch the face l dot u dot l u you see what happened this is not the correct one that's okay but whatever was here is now out and now that it's out we can work on it right what do i mean by that this is a uh, orange and green it wasn't out before we couldn't work on it but now we can so orange and green needs to be somewhere here so orange is top and we want that orange to be right here. So it's right here. We want it here. This is the time we are going to reverse the algorithm. Let me show you what that means. Because we want this A to finally come here. And that's the situation we're in. We're going to reverse it and do the U, L, oh, sorry, U dot, L dot, U dot, L, U first before we switch the face. How do we do that? So we are going to do U dot, L dot, u dot l u switch the face r u r dot u dot see what we did here right so it's just that we have the same algorithm in reverse order depending on whether you're moving this here or you're moving this here okay let's see if we have any one remaining we have red and blue remaining it must be somewhere up here and it is uh, I'm glad that it was this way. Sometimes you'll find uh, that you end up doing only one of the algorithms. Sometimes you do the other. Sometimes it's a mix. And that's okay. Uh, you just have to establish what's at top. Try to match it. And then once it's there, I am going to do u. L dot. U dot. I'm sorry. It was u dot. L dot. U dot. Right. And then now L. U. R, U, R dot, U dot. And there you go. Our bottom two rows are done. Have a step four. Yay to yourself for sticking with this. All right. 
We're going to see you in step five. Bye.